Hello, my name is Lori Gallimore. I'm the Director of Nursing in the Health Service here at Dartmouth College. I just wanted to talk a little bit today about the difference between the common cold, the flu, and COVID. As I know during this winter season, this is a big concern for all of us is, you know, I'm not feeling well, how do I know? What, what's the difference between all those? So let's start with the similarities. Um, any of those illnesses can have, you can have a fever, a sore throat, some nasal congestion, headache, fatigue. And really what we think about is how do they differ? And there's really not that many differences between all three of those. So in this population, we see a lot of really just upper respiratory, so mostly nasal congestion, sore throat and headache. So what we tend to focus on is loss of taste and smell. It's a very unique symptom to COVID. When someone has the cold or the flu, they may have some temporary loss of taste or smell, which really just related to being so congested and it's pretty short. And <clears throat> with COVID, it's more of, it comes on suddenly and can take a few weeks to resolve. So that is definitely one of the symptoms that is unique to COVID. We also see more shortness of breath and coughing with COVID. As you can see, all these illnesses have really similar symptoms and it can be very difficult and um, sometimes anxiety producing. What What's going on? The best advice that I can give you is give us a call. There are nurses available 24 hours a day for you to call. They are gonna go through all of this with you. They're gonna ask you about all your symptoms and they're gonna ask you about what you've been doing lately. And again, trying to get that travel history and exposure history. And it's their job to help sort all this out. And then if we think you need to come in and get tested, we can bring you right in over to the health service and get you tested and also give you advice on how to manage some of your symptoms while we are waiting for test results and that is really the best way that you can take care of yourself and we can all be healthy as a community.